Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this discussion, you can see how to configure Odoo project in PyCharm and set up Python interpreter. And if you already know how to do it, please skip this video. Also, if you missed all the CLI command discussion, please review those videos. It will improve your skills. So let's start. First, we will, uh, as you know, like in previous uh, discussion, we always run from terminal. So now we will move to uh, PyCharm, and from there we will run uh, Odoo script. So first of all, we will configure like uh, how our Odoo will configure in PyCharm. So first I will open my current directory is a PyCharm project. So here you can see all list of projects here. But we have to use, uh, we have to configure this Odoo 13 version in PyCharm. So first I will open PyCharm. Here you can see there is nothing in PyCharm. I will open the project and specify in which directory the Odoo is there. So I will click here and press OK button. It will automatically load the project. And here you can see uh, Odoo 13 is configured. So right now we have to do is we have to run from here. So this is our terminal. This is our terminal, and Python will provide this terminal. You can see this is our current directory and I will run this command here you can see uh, it's giving me this kind of error because right now I'm using only Python so by by default Python means uh, default version in the system is 2.7 and we required Python greater than 3.6. So first of all, we will stop this execution, stop the service. Then after, I will active my uh, virtual environment of Odoo. Which is configured previously and we will talk later we'll have a different uh, discussion about how to create a virtual environment for the python for uh, for the odoo so right now we will use uh, the same thing python odoo dash bin minus the first tab once i will click you can see here it will active the service and once I will go to the browser and refresh the page here you can see it will working fine and all logs will appear here instead of terminal so right now this is your terminal you can do whatever you want to do and here we have some quick overview like this is the main directory of Odoo and inside having the some uh, directory structure and this directory structure we will see in next video and here like uh, you can do practice and in case having any query do comment below see you in next video also please review previous discussion in case you missed and the next video is a related review of Odoo directory structure have a good day